Top Early Signs of a Heart Attack You Can't Ignore Suppose you're in your 50s and sitting on your balcony reading a newspaper, and you start to feel sweaty and short of breath. In that case, even if you haven't done any intense exercise, you should not skip this video since they are severe warning symptoms that could indicate a heart attack is just around the corner. But don't panic, we'll go through some of the most important warning signs of a heart attack, so you can get medical help before it's too late if you know them. We'll also advise you on easy ways to reduce your risk of heart disease, so you may live your life without stress. So, we'll start with fatigue. The heart's increased work to pump blood to an area where blood flow is impeded after a heart attack might leave a victim feeling exhausted. There may be a problem if you frequently find yourself drained of energy for no apparent cause. Even though fatigue affects 70% of women occasionally, it can be a significant warning sign of an impending heart attack if it becomes chronic. Fatigue is characterized by gradually worsening symptoms throughout the day, including severe exhaustion, a lack of physical and mental motivation, and acute tiredness. This can make even routine tasks like taking a shower or making the bed a chore. Experiencing extreme fatigue or unusual weakness could indicate heart disease, especially in women. These signs and symptoms may continue for a few days, so if you cannot play with your grandkids because you get tired quickly, you should pay attention to the sign. Next up is dizziness. Dehydration, skipping meals, and rising up too abruptly are just a few of the many causes of dizziness and fainting. Nevertheless, suppose you're experiencing chest pain, shortness of breath, fainting, or dizziness. In that case, your blood volume and pressure may drop, and a heart attack could be on the way. A feeling of impending doom, or that the world is swirling characterizes dizziness. In either case, it's a sign that your heart's electrical system isn't functioning as it should. The doctor warns that this could be an indication of arrhythmia, or a problem with the heart valves. So contact an emergency cardiologist immediately because the symptoms can worsen. In the third place, we have abdominal pain, a severe issue. When a blood clot forms in a coronary artery, it can block blood flow and lead to a heart attack. This prevents blood from reaching the heart, leading to discomfort described as tightness or pressure in the chest. When this happens, it often radiates to the upper abdomen. Abdominal pain is recognized in half of all cases of heart attacks. The most common symptoms are nausea on an empty or full stomach, feeling bloated, and stomach distress. They are equally likely to affect men and women. Abdominal symptoms before a heart attack tend to be episodic, meaning they fade away for a while and then return for a little bit. Stress on the body might exacerbate gastrointestinal symptoms, so you should not confuse it with normal stomach pain if you have it regularly in your 50s and above. Another leading symptom is sweating. A recent study suggests that the commencement of sweating and discomfort in the chest arm, neck, or jaw in older persons with minimal physical activity may signal the beginning of a heart attack. Unless you're going through menopause or have recently worked up a heavy sweat from exercising, breaking out in a cold sweat or sweating excessively could be heart attack symptoms. If you have a heart attack, your body may go into fight or flight mode, causing you to sweat heavily. Excessive sweating, chills, and other flu-like symptoms that don't respond to temperature or activity level changes are common descriptions. Although overnight sweat appears more powerful, you may find damp sheets in the morning. Go to a cardiac hospital immediately if you experience this, in addition to other heart attack symptoms. On the fifth place, we have swelling. As the heart cannot effectively pumps blood throughout the body, fluid builds up in those with heart failure. This fluid can pool in your lungs, making breathing difficult or in your lower extremities, causing swelling of the legs and ankles. This may indicate that your heart is not pumping blood effectively. A slow heart rate causes blood to pool in the veins, leading to swelling. Because the kidneys may have difficulty flushing out more water and sodium, heart failure can produce swelling. Get in touch with your doctor immediately to confirm whether the swelling you are having is related to a heart attack. Next up is heart palpitations. If the heart is not getting enough blood, several problems could arise. First, heart palpitations are a sign of anxiety in the heart, which can be brought on by a lack of oxygenated blood. A simple solution, like cutting back on caffeine or getting more shut-eye, is usually at the root of the problem. But in very unusual cases, 
It may be a sign of atrial fibrillation, a condition that requires medical attention. If you have heart palpitations, you should see a cardiologist immediately. If you get heart palpitations regularly, if they last more than a few seconds, or if they're followed by other signs like lightheadedness, vomiting, extreme or unusual sweating, and shortness of breath, you should see a doctor. Last but not least, as a common symptom of a silent heart attack, shortness of breath can occur even without chest discomfort and is a warning indication in its own right. You may also experience vertigo or lightheadedness, and there is a risk that you may pass out. Although this condition can occur in both men and women, the majority of the time, women are the ones who find themselves struggling for air when it does. If you experience shortness of breath while you are not visibly exerting yourself, when you are doing something that you typically could do without feeling winded, or if it comes on suddenly, these are warning signals that an issue with your heart could possibly be default. So if it happens to you after eating at night or when lying down, you should discuss it with your doctor immediately. Up next, we will tell you an important fact. These discussed symptoms are not the same in older men and women. Why? Like older men, the most typical sign of a heart attack in an older woman is chest pain, pressure, or uneasiness that lasts more than a few minutes or fluctuates in intensity. However, chest pain is not often the worst or most apparent sign, especially in older women. Pressure or tightness is a common way women describe the pain of a heart attack. In addition, some people experience heart attacks without experiencing any discomfort in the chest. Therefore, it's possible that the signs and symptoms won't be as pronounced or evident as the crushing chest pain commonly linked with heart attacks. This may be because older women are more likely to suffer from small vessel heart disease or coronary microvascular disease, which causes a narrowing of the arteries that feed blood to the heart. Women are more likely than males to experience symptoms when they should be unwinding or sleeping. In addition, the stress of any kind, mainly psychological, has been linked to an increased risk of heart attack in women. Heart disease may be noticed less frequently in women than men because women and men may experience signs of a heart attack differently. For example, heart attacks caused by less severe arterial blockage are more common in women than men, non-obstructive coronary artery disease. So, is there anything that sets these symptoms apart from one another? When do unusual or subtle symptoms become a cause for alarm? Learning your personal risk factors for heart disease can help you recognize the disease's earliest warning signs. For example, an older adult's risk for heart attack can be determined by discussing their blood pressure, cholesterol levels, age, and medical history with their doctor. Symptoms should be discussed in the context of this risk. Is this the norm or not? How do you feel about them? When you're at ease or when you're working hard? Is it the cold or emotional strain that causes them? Do you also have symptoms like chest pain, a racing heart, or cold sweats? This is the position from which a treatment strategy can be developed. Lastly, what to do to prevent a heart attack? It is recommended that you consume a diet that is low in fat and rich in fiber. This diet should include fresh fruit and vegetables, at least five servings daily, and whole grains. Because overeating salt might cause an increase in blood pressure, you should restrict the amount of salt you consume to no more than 6 grams. That is, 0.2 ounces per day. About one teaspoon contains six grams of salt. Saturated fat and unsaturated fat are the two categories of fat that exist. Avoid eating foods that contain saturated fats because consuming them will cause an increase in the amount of bad cholesterol that is found in your blood. The most effective strategy for keeping a healthy weight is to regularly combine nutritious food with an active lifestyle. In addition, a lower risk of high blood pressure is associated with maintaining a healthy body weight. In addition to lowering your cholesterol and maintaining a healthy blood pressure level, a regular exercise routine can help make your heart and blood circulation more efficient. Regular physical activity lowers the likelihood of a person suffering a heart attack. The heart is a muscle, and just like any other muscle, it may be strengthened by physical activity. In addition, a healthy heart can circulate more blood throughout the body with less work than a weak one. Lack of sleep is associated with an increased risk of developing diabetes, heart disease, depression, and obesity.
Generally, an adult needs at least seven hours of sleep every night. Therefore, establishing regular sleep habits is a top concern. Ensure you get enough rest by going to bed and waking up at the exact times every day. To facilitate restful sleep, maintain a dim, quiet environment in your bedroom. Suppose you've been sleeping plenty but still feel exhausted during the day. Maybe you should make an appointment with the doctor about obstructive sleep apnea, a disorder linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Obstructive sleep apnea is characterized by loud snoring, brief periods of not breathing during sleep, and subsequent awakenings to pant for air. And that wraps up today's video, so I appreciate you sticking around for it. To get answers to all of your questions, subscribe to the channel. Please pay close attention to your health and do not ignore these warning signs.